What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome back to another unboxing video. In this video, we're going to be unboxing the 2018 April Loot Crate DX box. I kind of just decided to make it a Loot Crate day, I guess. If you're interested in getting this box, I will go ahead and put all of the pricing details in the description below for you. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. Based off of how they always do it, uh, the theme for the regular Loot Crate was artifacts, so I'm assuming the theme for this box is also going to be artifacts. How does it look? Oh! Ooh! Okay, I'm gonna set this aside. The wearable. Here we go. The first item we have is an Avengers book. What is this? Let's see. I don't, I don't know exactly what it is, but this is the book. That's cool. That's cool. Loot Crate exclusive. What is this? I don't even know what it's called. What is this called? Marvel Avengers, the essential guide. Oh, I wish I would have opened this box sooner. I have spent the past probably two to three to three weeks, I would say, preparing myself for the new movie and watching lots of YouTube videos and reading lots of articles, origin stories of, of, of the Infinity Stones and, uh, just everything about Thanos and what and all the connections. Um, it's hard, it's difficult because I found that, you know, there's obviously Marvel and then there's the MCU, which does differ a little bit, but I've really enjoyed like just learning more about it. So I'm really excited about this and I'm assuming that's what this kind of is. OMG, look at what happened. I, I turned the page and look who's on here. Look who is on here. No, don't look at this guy, it's not him. It's not him. It's this guy, Hawkeye, the best Avenger around. I'll fight anybody who says otherwise. Uh, so this is basically a, like a guidebook about, um, I'm assuming it has origin stories of different characters. It looks like each character kind of gets their own page. This is super cool. I'm very excited. Uh, I'm very excited to actually read this. Like, I'm really excited to read this. Oh, I'm excited. So that's very cool, very cool. You know, they better have a page specific to Hawkeye if they're gonna put him on like the almost front cover, basically. Ugh, there's something, I don't like Captain America. Oh gosh, look at him. Look at him, yes. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, the next one we got is from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Uh, it's the vampire book thing. It's a pin. There you go. One backing. Cool pin. Next, we have an item from God of War. This is Kratos, Kratos's shield. A five inch replica, okay. Is it Kratos, Kratos? Weapons of legend, Kratos wields a shield like none other seen before in this realm. It springs from his arm as if an extension of himself. Quick as a flash, but with standing blows that would tear ordinary defenses asunder. Asunder? Asunder? Asunder. I've never heard that word before. It's an argument worthy of a true guardian. So here's the box. Let's go ahead and uh, take this out and see what it looks like. I like replica things. Okay. I, uh... I have realized as I always try to open these things and you guys always tell me to slip things in I'm assuming you guys actually I used to try to slip things in here But I think you guys mean like do I slip it in here on the side and then I pop it open like that. Oh, yeah I get it. I see now. I understand. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Whoa, this is cool Is this metal? Ooh. Okay, here's what it looks like. Let me pull this out. You guys this is is this metal? Okay, maybe it's, I can't, no, it's not, okay, it's not metal. Oh, this is vinyl, so this is like thick vinyl. It's, it's kind of heavy, actually, for for how heavy it is and it being vinyl, but I think it's, it's like if you were to melt the Funko Pop and, and mold it into this, I think that's kind of what this is, but a little bit heavier. It came with this little stand as well. I'm not quite sure how it's supposed to fit in the stand, to be honest. There's, there's like this block. Do you see that little block? So it doesn't like, it doesn't like fit. It doesn't really fit in the stand because there's a block that's sticking up out of it. Why do they do that? I guess like that. 
Huh, that's interesting. I think it's cool. I think that they could have done the base stand a little bit better. They could have maybe made a notch that holds like this can rest on it because this, it doesn't really rest very well on that. It's okay, it's just not, it's not the greatest thing. Okay, well, there's that. I actually really enjoy this product in concept, in theory. I just think that in execution, it's good. I think they could have done a teeny bit better. The base, I think they could have done better with this, the base slash stand a little bit. But yes, that's pretty cool. I like that. Not too bad. Next we have whatever's in this little tube, some kind of print. Oh, they used kind of the same paper that they used in the loot crate, which I enjoy. Oh no, this is a, oh, it's a, is this a sketch? Oh, we got a sketch. I'm sorry, the light is so bright. There it is, there it is, there it is. Can you see it? This is actually like a legitimate sketch. What is this from? That looks like it's from, uh, oh, I wouldn't have guessed that. So this is a cert of authenticity that this is a production pencil drawing from the animated series He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. That's pretty cool. And it's legit. This looks I've received a few other kind of sketch works uh, from animated shows and that's this is exactly what they look like. You can tell that they like pulled it from binder. That's super cool. So there you go. That's neat. I'm actually surprised that the way they package this in just this little tube. I feel like this is worth more to, to, you know, to like put it in something a little bit thicker, but it survived the uh, journey, so that's good. Pop that back in, that's very cool. All right, they gave us two booklets. I feel like they keep doing that, but let's do the last item before we do our recap. We, ow, 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 the string hit me in the eyeball, ow. Um, we got a, like a hoodie, a very thin hoodie. We've received kind of like, it's like the, um, do you guys remember the Space Invaders hoodie shirt thing that I got. It feels like that a little bit. This is a Dungeons and Dragons wearable. I got a men's medium. Let's check this out. Oh, this is, oh, this is like the uh, Space Invaders one because, oh no, it's long sleeve. I thought it was short sleeve. I've received a, like a weird short sleeve version of something like this. So here's the design. This is kind of like a hoodie long sleeve shirt. So it's a, like, it's like a little bit thicker than a regular long sleeve shirt but then it's like in hoodie form. So you have a hoodie. I don't know if there's pockets, no pockets. That kind of sucks. But here's our design. It says, I've got 99 problems, but a, a, a lich, it ain't one. This is like real Dungeons and Dragons. The only Dungeons and Dragons I really know of is from Stranger Things, to be honest. And that's not even like super, I mean, that's real if you know the game, but I don't really know the game very well. How's this to design? For those of you who are Dungeons and Dragons fans, do you enjoy this? I like the uh, hoodie-esque, product. I like the actual like that they didn't just give us a shirt or like just a long sleeve shirt. They gave us like a hoodie shirt, which I like. Although it's interesting because obviously it's about to be summertime. Um, it is a lighter type hoodie, which is nice, but yeah, interesting timing for that. But what do you guys think about this design for you Dungeons and Dragons fans? All right, that is all the items in the box. Let's go ahead and do some pricing and recap. You guys want to see the mega crate here? is the mega crate i don't even know how you did the like, i don't even know how that works how you even know the one again theme this month was artifacts and let's go ahead and do this got my calculator all right the first item that we have is our god of war replica shield now i actually so again i think this is a really cool product i wonder if i could take that little block in the base out because this looks like this picture it makes it look like it sits so much better on the base, so maybe that was my bad. But I actually think it's a cool little replica. I like the weight to it. It's not metal, but it's it's probably like a thick vinyl, and it just feels it feels good. Like it doesn't feel super cheap or anything like that. So I'm a fan of that. I think that again, exclusive figures and items like that. I think you can give ten to fifteen. I wouldn't mind giving this fifteen. I actually feel like this could be worth fifteen. That people would probably pay fifteen dollars for that. So let's go ahead and give that 15. And could you give it 20? I don't think you could give it 20. I think that's a little bit high, but I also don't really know. I'm sure on eBay, I bet you people, should we look on eBay? I bet you people on eBay are selling this thing for like $30, I can imagine. Mm, $20, see? Uh, what a lot of people are selling it for $40, $25. Uh, so basically anywhere from the lowest is 20. It goes 20 to, to 30 to 40. I think 40 is high. That's what people are selling it for. Let's see if anyone's purchased it. 25. Okay. 
So 25 is the cheapest someone's bought it for, but it is on sale right now for 20. Uh, we'll give it 18. I'll be a little bit nice and give that 18. Okay, we got an exclusive He-Man and the Masters of the Universe production pencil drawing. Again, with the cert of authenticity. I think that's really cool. The one in the picture is like super cool. I got one with a little tiger thing. Wow, you can't even see it. I'm sorry. Can you guys see that? Wait for it. Wait for it. I don't know. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, how much are pencil drawings? I'm not quite sure. Let's see if we can find some pricing. $10. $10 is what this looks like it's kind of going for. I don't know if anyone has purchased it. People have been buying this for about, I don't know if these are the same things, but like $15. But they're all online right now for about $10. So I think that you could give this $8 to $10. I'd be okay with that. I'm going to go on the, a little bit on the lower end because I think the design that we got is not as cool as some of the other options that probably you could have gotten. So I'm going to give that 8 but I think you could give that 10 we had our Loot Crate Edition Marvel The Avengers The Essential Guidebook. I am really I'm, I'm really excited for this. This is probably my favorite item in the box. I'm going to see how much Amazon selling this for. For those of you who just want to read this book, usually the Loot Crate editions are just a different cover. So let me see if they're selling this. The Ultimate Marvel The Avengers The Ultimate Guide. Is that what that's called? No, The Essential Guide. I need The Essential Guide. Avengers Essential Guide is not popping up, but when I search Avengers Guide, it has Marvel, The Avengers, The Ultimate Guide, New Edition. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. The Ultimate Guide? No, The Essential Guide. Oh, here. Oh, it's the abridged version. Does that mean shorter? Does that mean not as big? Uh, Avengers, The Ultimate Character Guide. So there's so many different types of guides. The Ultimate Character Guide. Okay, so on Amazon, the full guide book is is $13. $13, this is what it looks like just in case you guys are interested in in picking it up. So I don't know if you're a fan of that. Um, I don't know if this is the exact same. Does this tell me how many pages? 232 pages. I don't think this book is, okay. So this one is only like 96 pages, so this one's a much shorter version. I actually might look online and getting the full version. If the full version was $13, I would say this one you can give 10 which I'm a little bit disappointed about, but that's okay. We had our Buffy pin. I'm going to go ahead and give that $5. And then we had our exclusive Dungeons & Dragons. Is it Lich or Lick? Long sleeve hoodie is what they call it. I think this is a cool little long sleeve hoodie. I think you could easily give this, uh, I wouldn't mind giving this, definitely 15 is a long sleeve. I think you can give this 18 to 20. And because it's licensed, I actually really enjoy just the style of this. I wish I was a Dungeons and Dragons fan, but I think you could easily give this, I would say $20. That might be a little bit high. 18 is probably what my gut's telling me a little bit more, but I really enjoy this. I wish, again, that I was a fan of Dungeons and Dragons, but it's cool. All right, that is all of the items in the box. According to my pricing, this box is worth $61, which I think is fairly close to actually how much we pay for this box. Let's take a look. If you get the month-to-month -month subscription, it's $55. I have the one year. I have the one year? Do I have the one year? No, I don't have the one year. I get the month to month. So $55. Ooh. So at $55, I got $6 extra value. For a $55 box, we're looking for at least probably like $16 extra value. So this box definitely did fall short. I actually think my pricing was fairly good too. So yeah, that's a little bit disappointing, I guess. I actually enjoyed the items in this box. I guess as I was opening it, like I enjoyed the items enough to not even realize that the value wasn't going to be there. I think if they would have included one more medium sized item, uh, this box would be worth it. So I do think that that Loot Crate DX still needs, they need to figure it out. Loot Crate needs to figure out how to really improve this box to make it a lot different than the regular Loot Crate box because I feel like the regular Loot Crate box got $40 value for me and it only costs like in the $20 range. This box didn't get double that extra value, but it cost more than, or yeah, a little bit more than double the price. So I think that's one of the things that they need to look at in comparison is that when I get the Loot Crate DX box, I, I'm glad that they give us bigger and better items, but the value is still not there to really hold this box up. So if I had to rate this box, I would give this box, I would probably just say a, it's probably a four out of five noobs or maybe a 3.75 out of five noobs. I really enjoyed the items. I'm not gonna lie. like. As I was opening, so I, I really enjoy the items, and even though it, it, it's not all of the best franchises that I enjoy, I really like the types of items, but that value is the one thing that's lacking. So I would say a four out of five noobs with the hope that this box can 
either add another item or increase some of the value in the items that they give us already just to make this box worth it. All right, guys, that is all I have for you in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. What are your thoughts? Again, as I was opening it, I really actually enjoyed the box, but then once we started calculating the pricing, it's like, ah, uh, oh. So I think if this had one more item in it, though, I would really, really, really appreciate this box a lot more, and it would get a higher rating, because the value, that's just the only thing that's lacking there. So let me know what you guys think, though, down below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. Okay. I'm gonna butcher this name so hard, but I wanna give you the video shout out, so I'm gonna just try. Today's video shout out is gonna go to Ditztini Kiseki. Ditztini Kiseki. You get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, supporting my channel. Uh, thank you so much for your comment. I wanted just to say it sounds like you've been sick, so I hope that you I hope that you feel better. I, I actually commented back to you, but I hope I'll I'll read you the comment personally. I hope you feel better because you told me that you hope I feel better. You know, anyways. It's Tinny. You get the video shout out. Thank you again for watching my videos and thank you so much for all of your support. I, I truly do hope that you feel better if you are sick. I hope that you are healing and that you are resting and that you're getting healthy. You get the video shout out today. Shout out to you, Ditz Tinny Kazeski. Shout out to you. I could, I feel myself just butchering your name completely, so I really do apologize. Alright guys, I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!